I told you one of the greatest opportunities ever presented to drone pilots is now in existence in Florida, but also other countries like Miramar. Believe it or not, there are 1.1 million condo units in Florida that are over 30 years old in mostly multi-story buildings that are requiring inspections. These milestone inspections are now mandatory for all three-story condominiums and co-op buildings in Florida. Coastal buildings or buildings within three miles of the coast itself have to start inspections at 25 years old. And inland buildings, well, they start inspections at 30 years old. Buildings built between 1983 and 1997 must now complete inspections by the end of the year. In fact, Boca Raton has 242 buildings that have already been flagged for recertification inspections today. What does this mean for you as a drone pilot? Well, it means that 3D modeling or advanced drone mapping or lifelike 3D modeling is now really in need in Florida. If you're a drone pilot in this area, then the need for drone mapping and modeling information is greater than ever. I mean, think about it. There have been a lot of great videos online about how drones can create 3D models. What we're doing is we're talking about taking a lot of photos, typically in autonomous patterns that have a lot of overlap from one photo to another. I mean, you can even do things like with a Mini 3 Pro or Mini 4 Pro and fly orbits around a particular object and put that into Luma Labs to create beautiful 3D models. We've been teaching 3D modeling here for a long time as we're certified photogrammetry instructors. But typically, you are flying double grids with these drones. But now, these newer drones and newer American drones like Skydio have advanced facade inspections, inspections for tall cylindrical objects, and many different acquisition methodologies that allow you to create lifelike 3D models of these buildings. In fact, the lifelike 3D models are getting even more lifelike because of things like Gaussian splatting. Even Drone Deploy offers Gaussian splatting now. Or you can just create a point cloud in Reality Capture, Pix4D, and now DJI has their own 3D modeling software as well. And the thing is, is that now there's a huge opportunity for drone pilots to get paid pretty high rates for creating 3D models. Now, a lot of you are saying, hey, these recertifications of these buildings are supposed to be visual inspections of the buildings themselves. We're supposed to be looking at foundations, facades, balconies, chimneys, parapets, roof edges, and guardrails. Well, it's awfully expensive to set up all the lattice work and all the scaffolding and everything that's needed to adequately inspect those facades. It can now be done cheaper, easier, and faster with drones. But drone pilots are still walking away with three to $5,000 a day jobs and here's the thing, a lot of people will say, well, that's just taking a lot of photos. It is, but as we've learned with a lot of our enterprise clients, being able to look through all of those photos, looking at a building, looking at one particular edge of a building versus another, and organizing all of that data can negate all the efficiency gains by flying the building and capturing the data. Do you really wanna spend hours a day looking through hundreds if not thousands of photos of a particular building trying to isolate where that photo was taken, what's the geolocation of that photo, and even more so, how are you essentially interpreting, cataloging, and labeling all of the areas that have problems, all the large cracks, all the structural deterioration, all of the overloading, right? Well, now with 3D models and point to inspect tools that are available on things like SiteScan, that are available on things like Pix4D Cloud, that are available on things like Drone Deploy. Now, instead of just having hundreds or not thousands of photos, you can take a cylindrical orbital photo plan of a building, create a 3D model, click anywhere on that building, pull up all the photos, review those photos, and actually have an organized systematic methodology of creating the recertification inspection reports necessary for the state of Florida. And now probably also gonna be necessary in places like Miramar and Thailand that have had significant earthquakes recently, and all of those buildings need to be reinspected as well. The opportunity is off the charts right now if you live in Florida, which is already a drone heavy place. But here's the thing, drones are not just the ideal solution for capturing images. According to the state of Florida, electrical systems over 400 amps also have to have infrared thermography or infrared thermal photos of those to determine if they're operating properly and hoping that they're not getting too hot to cause a fire. 
So now it's not just creating life like 3D models, but it's also creating thermographic models as well, which only a few programs can offer, things like Pix4D Mapper. Here's the thing. Basic inspections involve hundreds of raw photos, which is really time consuming for engineers to sift through. Drone photogrammetry is gonna give you comprehensive 3D models with virtual walkthroughs and the ability to annotate, measure, and organize data more efficiently. That way photos have context for every defect of isolated images. Models can even be hosted online, giving architects and clients one central point of command to view all of the information in an interactive visualization. You can even take it one step further. You can have something like SiteScan. SiteScan is integrated into ArcGIS. ArcGIS is typically the geospatial central hub for state and local governments to manage all of their data. If you're producing these lifelike 3D models for the engineering companies that are then tying it into the state and local recertification programs, now you've just made it easier and more convenient to do exactly that. That's where SiteScan does offer a significant capability over other drone mapping softwares. But we live in the age of AI. And in many years, we as drone pilots have gathered data to allow other people to interact with it, analyze the data, et cetera, et cetera. This is where other programs like Build Dots, Cupix, and even Drone Deploy's Struction Site are trying to take the next step of gathering that data and interpreting it for automated and auto-generated reports on the status of projects, the amount of issues, the amount of leaks, the amount of um, cracks, the brevity of those cracks, the volumetric measurements of all of those cracks, right? But now with AI, the future is here which means as a drone pilot, if you can take that next step for interpreting all that data, you offer even more value and you're not just getting paid for flying the building, creating the 3D model, but you're now getting paid to create automated reports for showcasing the defect types, the crack, spalling, water intrusion. You could even create an AI software program using cursor or chat GPT to flag and classify cracks by severity, size, and location. You could have it even create a report for how many cracks are given on an individual building to showcase the size of the cracks, how many of those cracks there are, and then even run that through an analysis to showcase how structurally sound is this building. Now, while the engineer is ultimately going to sign off on that and showcase the real structural problems, at least you can classify all the cracks classify all the damage and classify everything in an automated AI generated report. This way you reduce the human error. You drastically increase the inspection speed and you make a lot more money. Look, we've already built search and rescue software applications in ChatGPT, creating custom Python scripts to allow a MATLAB library to utilize a camera library to look through photos to isolate images based off of color, object detection, subject detection, contrast detection, and so much more. You can even train the AI to perform object detection across multiple models and then deliver next-gen inspection reports that combine the imagery, the AI insights, and the recertification-ready documentation. Look, as a drone pilot, the opportunity is huge. Because think about it, scaffolding would cost tens of thousands of dollars plus the labor time, right? And then they're gonna have to document all of those photos, document all the issues, create a report. That's gonna take a week to do one building. As a drone pilot, you can probably fly a 10 story building in one day, create a 3D model overnight if you're using a cloud software program, and probably overnight if you're using something like Pix4D as well. But then if you take all those photos and run them through an image object engine, which by the way, a lot of these already exist, but you can create your own for free on Cursor or on ChatGPT, and then create automated reports for how many cracks, the size of the cracks, and then give that to the engineering teams that are actually on top of these recertification things, you're gonna have a significantly valuable workflow. And I honestly don't even know how valuable it is. We just hired new instructors across the United States. So DroneU is expanding our enterprise training because we trained the largest and most successful drone program in the country by revenue. That being said, a lot of other people are now like, wow, you have the highest quality, we want that. We just brought on a new team in Miami, and this is the number one project that they're working on, is recertification. So the amount of money that you can make is gonna be dependent on 
what type of data you're delivering. Are you delivering just photos? Are you delivering a model that they can inspect? Or are you delivering the model that they can inspect plus giving them a report for all the cracks that are in the building, how many there are, the overall size of all those cracks and the potential impact that those cracks might be having. If you think about it, you have almost six different price lines that you can offer. And the more of a completed workflow that you can provide, the more money that you can dictate. But in talking to uh, a client who's, who owns a construction company in Florida, this is a massive issue and time is of the essence. This might be one of the greatest opportunities for drone pilots who know photogrammetry in the whole country. Honestly, it's a massive market for really skilled drone operators to partner with licensed engineers, architects, property management firms. Because if you can offer those end-to-end -end services of 3D modeling, thermal analysis, and AI enhanced defect tagging, you really set yourself apart as a tech enabled inspection specialist. So look, if you're learning how to create lifelike 3D models, you wanna learn this point to inspect tool, come to DroneU. We've got brand new mapping and 3D modeling classes. We're certified photogrammetry instructors on Pix40 Mapper, Pix40 Matic, Pix40 React, Pix40 Cloud. We're also teaching on site scan and drone deploy. So if you wanna know the best application to deliver the best, easiest, and most convenient data to your clients, to have a higher profit margin, and to be able to make more money, then you've gotta check out any of our classes or join us for in-person classes where we go over all of these applications so you know exactly what works the best when and where. As someone who's been doing 3D modeling for a long time, look, I've got experience creating 3D models of baseball stadiums, creating 3D models of film sets for Netflix and HBO, creating 3D models of convention centers for large scale construction companies, and creating 3D models of new buildings for colleges and universities. We can teach from experience. And so if you're looking to hone in your skills and learn the intricate tips, tricks, and hacks that make your 3D models have more detail, be able to see detail below the awnings, be able to actually capture the uh, railings in your 3D models, and not relying on autonomy, but proven systems that developed great 3D models, then you're in the right place to learn from DroneU. We've been teaching drone mapping and modeling for almost eight years now. And frankly, it's so exciting to see the development. So if you're looking for competence and confidence and you wanna take advantage of this, then you've gotta join DroneU either for an online course or an in-person course. We're also gonna be talking about this opportunity and who to reach out to in our upcoming coaching calls, which are free to members. So I'll see you there. And honestly, I might be taking advantage of this myself. Like I'm gonna fly down to Florida and go do some jobs because honestly, the opportunity is off the charts and I could see making a quick quarter million a year easy on just doing a couple of these buildings. Imagine this, right? If you've got 10, 10 story buildings and you're charging, let's say $5,000 for the inspection or 10,000 to include the automated inspection reports, those 10 buildings are, that's $100,000 of work right there. So if you're like me and you love to hustle and you love to fly, then you've got to become a DroneU member, check out our classes and have the greatest amount of fun and work possible. Drone adventures. I'll see you at DroneU HQ.